Ah, uh, decisions, decisions. What shall I ever do? What? I've got Newsmax, Spotify, Rumble, Valuetainment, my own website. Where to go? Don't say it, don't. Well, I'm going to Twitter. Hello! <laughs> That's right, Tucker Carlson's coming back in a big way. And can you hear that? Fuck! It's all the crying. <laughs> I'm Jasper Gonzo, and this. is what's next. <music> Happy Wednesday, everyone. Jazz Borgonzo, what's next? Your daily, of course, common sense, facts and salt. Hope you guys enjoy or are enjoying your day. Well, after the bomb dropped around the world that tucker got fired from fox you know fox ousted him you know because of tucker speaking facts truth to power he came out with a tweet the monday following and of course it got seen over 50 million times then silence well we saw him at a golf course and of course he was enjoying uh the day with his wife having a date but then nothing until now it seems that Tucker is back in a big way and he's made his choice. He had a plethora, a plateful of decisions to make. He could have went anywhere. He could have went to Spotify. He could have went to Rumble. He could have went to Newsmax, which was the first to make a play. Valuetainment, which Ben David came out with a five-year, $100 million offer. And of course, there were incentives. But no, Tucker sat back, just waited and waited and waited. And then now, guess where he's going? Yes, he joins Musk at Twitter. Oh my, let's take a look. Hey, it's Tucker Carlson. You often hear people say the news is full of lies, but most of the time that's not exactly right. Much of what you see on television or read the New York Times is in fact true in the literal sense. It could pass one of the media's own fact checks. Lawyers would be willing to sign off on it. In fact, they may have. But that doesn't make it true. It's not true. At the most basic level, the news you consume is a lie, a lie of the stealthiest and most insidious kind. Facts have been withheld on purpose, along with proportion and perspective. You are being manipulated. How does that work? Let's see. If I tell you that a man has been unjustly arrested for armed robbery, that is not, strictly speaking, a lie. He may have been framed. At this point, there's been no trial, so no one can really say. But if I don't mention the fact that the same man has been arrested for the same crime six times before, am I really informing you? No, I'm not. I'm misleading you. And that's what the news media are doing in every story that matters, every day of the week, every week of the year. What's it like to work in a system like that? After more than 30 years in the middle of it, we could tell you stories. The best you can hope for in the news business at this point is the freedom to tell the fullest truth that you can. But there are always limits. And you know that if you bump up against those limits often enough, you will be fired for it. That's not a guess, it's guaranteed. Every person who works in English language media understands that. The rule of what you can't say defines everything. It's filthy, really, and it's utterly corrupting. You can't have a free society if people aren't allowed to say what they think is true. Speech is the fundamental prerequisite for democracy. That's why it's enshrined in the first of our constitutional amendments. Amazingly, as of tonight, there aren't many platforms left that allow free speech. The last big one remaining in the world, the only one, is Twitter, where we are now. Twitter has long served as the place where our national conversation incubates and develops. Twitter is not a partisan site. Everybody's allowed here, and we think that's a good thing. And yet, for the most part, the news that you see analyzed on Twitter comes from media organizations that are themselves thinly disguised propaganda outlets. You see it on cable news. You talk about it on Twitter. The result may feel like a debate, but actually the gatekeepers are still in charge. We think that's a bad system. We know exactly how it works, and we're sick of it. Starting soon, we'll be bringing a new version of the show we've been doing for the last six and a half years to Twitter. We'll be bringing some other things, too, which we'll tell you about. But for now, we're just grateful to be here. 
Free speech is the main right that you have. Without it, you have no others. See you soon. My thoughts. Wow. You got more than you expected for, that you bargained for, um, versus the first tweet when he came out the Monday after his firing. He gives you a little bit more detail, and he makes it clear regarding that if you push the envelope too hard, you'll get fired for it. So now he joins Musk at Twitter. Now, of course, we don't know what the details are because it's still in its infancy. But what we do know is this, is that pretty much what we've seen over the last six and a half years of Tucker, uh, well, according to Fox, he went off the rails. Well, we'll take that all day and twice on Sunday. Because if Tucker's going to be unleashed on Twitter, and I'm sure Musk said, guess what? You come over here, carte blanche. Say whatever you want. Say whatever feels. Whatever comes to your mind, Tucker. You know, just speak it. So um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun how this whole thing turns out because, uh, yeah, you thought his numbers were big over at Fox. I'll tell you right now, I will say this, and I'm sure I'm not the first person to, that his numbers will easily rival that of Joe Rogan or maybe surpass him because he's got a huge following and I'm one of those. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Bergonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. Hit the notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. And we'll see you next time. Peace.